Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a prototype. Hey, today we're going to look at the prototype for the Calaveras de Azucar playing cards. Uh, what is this? It's a Kickstarter project. It's going on right now. It's from uh, Natalia Silva. You might remember Natalia did the Christmas deck for Penguin Magic, and since then she's done a couple of other successful Kickstarter campaigns. This is her newest one, her latest one, uh, going on right now. So the Calaveras de Azucar deck is a custom deck of playing cards, and it's inspired by Day of the Dead, and these cards, when they are printed, will be printed from the United States Playing Card Company. Um, this deck is devoted to the Sugar Skull, because that's what Calaveras de Azucar means. It means the skull of sugar, okay? So sugar art, actually, okay, sugar art, was brought to the New World by Italian missionaries in the 17th century, and the first um, mention of sugar art was around uh, Easter time, where little sugar lambs and angels were made to adorn the altars in Catholic churches. So nowadays, uh, what they do is they take a clay mold of these different sugar figures like angels and sheep and skulls, um, clay molds that date back to like the colonial century. Uh, sugar skulls are now decorated to represent a departed soul, okay? So they have a name written on the forehead and they're placed sometimes in a home or near a gravestone to honor the return of that particular relative. And so sugar skull art reflects the folk art style uh, of having big happy smiles, colorful icing, sparkly tin, glittery adornments. And so that's what you see in Sugar Skull Art. And so this deck that Natalia has put together is kind of an homage to that. It's a representation of that. It's kind of paying tribute to that, okay? This deck here is completely redesigned as a custom deck, um, like I said, from artist Natalia Silva. It's, she's gonna limit this to United States Playing Card Company's smallest run of 2,500 decks. You notice that the deck, the front of the tuck case, has that sugar skull on it, and it's adorned with all kinds of flora and fauna. One side says playing cards made in the USA. The other side says Calaveras de Azucar. The bottom has Natalia Silva's URL, and the top of the tuck case just says poker size. The back design of the tuck case is, of course, the back design of the cards, and that's pretty much it for the tuck case. So let's take a look at these cards. If this campaign is successful, these cards will be printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they'll probably be on the modern stock. I can't really tell you about how the stock is on a prototype deck, because obviously this won't be the deck that you receive. <laughs> so there's no use talking about thickness or handling or anything uh, with a prototype deck, okay? This is merely uh, to show you and get you excited about the upcoming campaign. The back design, as you can see, has a black edged border, and it has the sugar skull there on the top and bottom, and it's just adorned with all kinds of fruit and leaves and flora. Uh, it's really very colorful, a very uh, playful deck. The front of the cards and the pips and indice cards uh, are also black edged borders. And you notice that it also has a tiny little gold um, border there as well on the inside. There is also a faint watermark of a sugar skull on the top and bottom. It's just a hint uh, right behind the pips and indices and you can just barely see that. Also to mention, since it is a black face deck, you won't have black pips and indices. The pips and indices for the black suits will be yellow. With this deck, you'll get two Sugar Skull Jokers, and then you can see that one is wearing a hat and the other one is not. They both say Joker going down the side, and they have the title of the deck, Calaveras de Azucar, there at the bottom. The court cards are all original and unique, and uh, you can really see Natalia's art inspiration being uh, implemented there. These definitely look like Russian nesting dolls, but Russian nesting dolls with uh, sugar skull faces. So she's definitely blending these two cultures together in uh, her iconic artistry. I also like the uh, four aces in that they're all given attention. You know, they're not just a single pip in the center. She's done something creative with each one of them. All right, so that is a quick overview of the Calaveras de Azuka playing cards that are currently right now a project on Kickstarter. If you like Natalia Silva's artwork uh, and you think this is a beautiful deck, especially if you collect the other Calaveras decks that have been released, I know this is kind of a thing. Uh, you can get these uh, a lot of different ways. And so I definitely want to head on down to Kickstarter and give Natalia Silva's project a look and uh, pledge your support. And if you want to learn more about Natalia Silva or her work, you can find her at nataliasilva.net. Thanks. Bye.